just like Krishna never ends and we never end so the loving relationship between the devotee and Krishna that never comes to an end this is known as sambandha eternal relationship so we ask the Lord first to establish us in our eternal relationship who am I? Jivar Sarupoi Nitya Krishna Das that our eternal form is we are Krishna's servant. So the devotee first wants to realize what is my relationship. Then a second, Ovidhaya. All right, I am eternal servant of Krishna. He is my eternal master. Uh, I am his servant. Now, how do I act in that position? How do I obtain the perfection of life? So that actual practice of realizing one's relationship and obtaining the perfection of life, the means is called obhidhya, means of obtaining perfection. And the perfection himself is prayojana, or pure love of Krishna. The samandha acharya vagodya vaishnav sampradaya is Sri Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan Goswami explains all the different features of the transcendental realm in the universe and what is the relationship. Sanatan Goswami describes that although there is a gross relationship between the hellish planets, the earthly planets, the heavenly planets of this universe and beyond the universe, the realm of Lord Siva and the impersonal Brahman, the Brahma Jyoti and the Vaikuntha planets, Ayodhya, the place of Lord Sri Ramachandra, and Goloka, where Sri Krishna resides, and Sweta Deep, Navadeep, where Lord Chaitanya resides, that in spite of all the variegated differences in a kind of one can see it in a perspective of of difference in the Lord actually rather than some kind of a lateral type of vertical uh, lateral type of comparison the actual comparison is established through various rasa or mellows of devotion that the mood of the people or devotees in a certain planet that mood or different relationships with the Lord and loving devotion or material dislike in the heavenly planets there there is a type of bhakti mixed with desire for sense gratification in some other place it's mixed with bhakti mixed with desire for speculative knowledge as it becomes purer and purer from the gross karma, the karma to karma to uh, all karma to bhakti mixed with karma, bhakti mixed with gan to uh, pure gan is below bhakti mixed with gan, then gradually to the pure, pure, pure type of bhakti coming to bhakti and neutrality then bhakti and servitude, then devotion and friendship, devotion and parental love, and then devotion and madhudja rasa, in conjugal love. In this way, actually, Sanatan Goswami, apart from establishing a kind of uh, understanding of the material and spiritual world in, in the extent of happiness, like he described that human beings' happiness can be taken as one, numeral one denominator. Take it that the hellish planets is less than one, negative, unhappiness. Human being, happiness is one. Then one goes from human being up to, say, the Gandharvas. Then his happiness is ten times more. Then it goes to Kinara's hundred times. Then Chanara, thousand then again, like this way, as it goes up through the different demigods, each time is ten times greater happiness than before. When one gets to Asuras, that's again greater. 
those who are 10% mystic, powerful, asura, then beyond that, one comes to the platform of the demigods, that's again, then again Indra is 100 times more, then Brahma is 100 times more than they, 1000 times more than they, then when one gets to the Brahma Jyoti, the impersonal effulgence of the Lord, emanating from his body, then it describes that all the material happiness combined is not even one drop compared to the happiness of Brahman. And then from Brahman to pure devotional service of the Lord, that happiness of pure devotion compared to Brahman, Brahman is not even the quantity of water contained in a calf's hoof print in the mud compared to the ocean of happiness of Krishna. So like this he established this relation also that he went into a deeper in his uh, Maha Brihat Bhagavata Amrita the relationship between different planets in the sense of transcendental rasa or mellow so the highest planet is Golok Vrindavan. There the highest interchange of devotion is existing between devotees. 